What's up everybody, my name is Theo and today I would love to answer some questions about my upcoming EP, Morning You. The EP consists of two tracks. The first one is called Morning You, as the EP itself, and the second one is called Sunset Cruise. Both of them are really mellow, chill tracks and um, I'm very happy to release them through Mellotron Records. Morning Dew was created last fall during my journey to the Canary Islands where I was able to surf every day and um, just enjoy the life, meet great new people and just make great experiences, great memories and um, one experience in particular that, that stuck with me made me go with, with the title Morning Dew and that's early morning first light surf sessions. <laughs> that's actually one of the greatest things I remember from, from this journey um, because sometimes my friends and I we would just get up super early when it was still completely dark. One time I remember it was actually raining and um, the mood was not the best but we still went outside, grabbed our surfboards and um, yeah, just headed to the, to the next surf spot and luckily we were rewarded with awesome experiences, um, awesome surf sessions and I just remember this really, really relaxing feeling of sitting on my surfboard in the water, watching the sunrise and um, just being able to, to enjoy the nature and um, also at the same time see the, the power of the nature, the power of the waves and everything. And um, I think especially the fact that it was so early in the morning um, made the whole experience even more beautiful. and. Um, that made me go with the title Morning Dew. The next stop on my travel bucket list is definitely uh, Costa Rica. I think it's a beautiful place that is definitely worth a visit. Um, I think this is a country that has so much to offer and yeah, I would really love to visit, of course, when the time is there, when um, the pandemic allows it, um, as it's very important to me to travel responsibly. But yeah, I would really love to, to visit Costa Rica and uh, make some beats there. <laughs> Oh, this is a really tough one to answer, I think. <laughs> but um, I think I don't have one creative process that is very similar all the time. I think it, it heavily depends on the inspiration that the music comes from at the moment, the artists I listen to, the places I'm in, the people I'm surrounded by. And um, but maybe to sum it up a little, where it starts is for me mostly the melodic part that can be a chord progression or a melody um, played on my guitar or uh, on my keyboard, whatever. Um, but usually there's a melodic idea first and this usually sets the mood or the vibe for the rest of the track and then I'm building the other stuff around it. I'm adding more little melodic elements to complement the main idea and um, of course the drums, we can't miss the drums. Um, but yeah, I think that sums it up pretty, pretty good. That's a really good question I actually had to think about for a bit. At the moment I would have to choose Tom Misch's album Geography. Um, as it's just beautiful how he combines all these different elements, all these different genres with each other. Um, for example, the, the jazzy vibes of his guitar playing, his guitar style in general um, is very inspiring to me. Um, combining that with hip hop beats and also vocals, sometimes even close to pop, you could play that in the radio, of course, and um, but still it's 
it's spicy <laughs> it just has that that, that certain feeling um, sometimes even some funky disco elements and um, yeah I, I really love that album and Tomish in general I think it's one of my biggest uh, influence is one of my biggest inspirations so that's why geography is the answer for me but still i'm very happy <laughs> i can listen to more than one album for the rest of my life um, as i really enjoy to just explore different artists different genres and um, yeah just expand my musical horizon a little bit every day mm -hmm.